Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding that you give a damn about, or don't. I don't know. Seems like a lot of you are hate watching lately. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to be talking about the top five powder guns. That's right, the big boy boards for wide open powder for just smashing and slashing the white stuff. And for anyone that's wondering, the whole criteria for this was anything 162, 63-ish or bigger so they had to have bigger sizes stuff like that so i looked at a lot of boards just to break that down forever number five the nitro quiver cannon 173 or 203 you want to go big and long here you go not the stiffest board on this list so it can get a little floppy and rutted out terrain but it's gonna float when you get into wide open terrain tight trees probably going to die but the big thing is with this board it's a swallowtail. It's got everything going for it to be just that powder gun you want when you're just above tree line, sending it through fresh, steep, and deep. Number four, the LibTech Retro Ripper. Once again, another swallowtail. This board is going to be a real, real damp just with the way that LibTech does its construction. It's also stiff enough in the nose that when you get into that heavier, wetter snow that they encounter in the Northwest, it's going to push through. But just with the shape of everything going on with it, it floats exceptionally well in deep snow. Number three, the Nidacker gun. Only comes in one size, 174, and that's all you're gonna need with this thing. It's a missile in fresh snow. You're gonna be able to just swoop from one side of the area back to the other, just leaving those nice arcing turns as you're just gliding across the fresh snow. Number two, the Rosinal XV. Are you gonna ride like Xavier De La Rue? No. Can you dream that you could? Yes. Will this board help you get to that level of riding? Probably not, unless you're just becoming a snowboard mountaineer. But this board did get an overhaul this year. It still is that big mountain quintessential wide open train, balls to the wall, free ride powder gun. It's aggressive. That's all you really need to know about it. Honorable mentions, all great options, but just barely didn't crack the top five of this list. The Arbor Crosscut, the Solomon Six Stick, the Capita Navigator. As I said, all great boards, but just barely didn't crack the top five of this list. And the number one powder gun for 2022-2023 is the Amplet Snowmalier. I got on this board on like an 18 inch day. I didn't want to get off of it. This thing is a rocket. It's a blast. It floats well. It gives you power when you need it. And it just wants to crush everything in its path when you're just going balls to the wall, right down the front face of a resort, smashing that pow. It slashes exceptionally well. It's awesome. You shouldn't sleep on it. Amplet boards are just super good boards. And unfortunately, those of us in North America, really have just started testing the waters on riding these decks. So give this board a look if you're looking for something for big wide open terrain. This has been my top five, a list of powder guns for 2022, 2023. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I forget one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this list. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you wanna support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and well, I'm going to continue to be your host until the storm rolls in, and then I'm going to go smash some pow, and I'll see you in another video.